Hey folks, here's generator number two. So, looks like a uh, 10 horsepower overhead valve Briggs, just like the other guy. Um, looks like somebody might have fooled around with it a bit, because it looks like this um, fuel filter was added. Um, Looks like they just only took the cover off for some reason. Um, it does have compression, so that's a good sign. It's a much simpler generator. It just has outlets on either side. Let's see if you can see them. Yeah, see the outlets and breakers. So go through the normal routine gas actually smells good very good which is a positive sign oil excuse the mousetrap here enjoy laughing if I whack myself how's that for nerve you can put my uh, fingers near the mouse side of the trap it's full of oil full full that's a good sign so maybe the only thing wrong with this one is the recoils out of it I thought it might have a spark problem but maybe not anyway let's go through the routine what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen or take the spark plug out spin it over see if it sparks if it does I'm gonna take the cover off of this one my thoughts were always that the cover would fit between these two so if that's the case I'm gonna put the cover on it and give it a pull over and we'll see what happens maybe I'll get away easy with this one the uh, I would have much preferred this unit becoming the running unit because it's a much prettier unit but maybe I have a live generator head over here and a live generator over here which means um, that I will have kind of three of the four pieces if you consider the generator head and the motor piece one piece two and then you have generator head and motor piece three piece four that'll give me three out of the four pieces then I can make a decision what to do with this guy um, you never know maybe there's a another motor out there that uh, that I, c I can throw on it or maybe uh, maybe I could get my hot little hands on a generator motor cheap right now that place out in Minnesota surplus city is it surplus city no Bur Barton surplus they have Tecumseh um, generator motors for a hundred and forty bucks, one thirty nine ninety five, if I recall. And then with shipping, that brings it up approaching two hundred dollars. But that puts a brand new motor on here, though it's at Tecumseh, and Tecumseh is no longer. Um, but the problem with that is. You know, hundred dollars plus another couple for a motor that gets me three hundred. So I have three hundred into a three hundred dollar generator, and I could go to Harbor Freight and buy a brandy spank a new generator for three hundred bucks. You can argue, is it a Troy built? I don't know. Is this a Troy built? If I throw it to come to engine on it, so there's that one. Anyway, but enough of my attention deficit disorder. Let's put a few minutes into this guy and see what we got. Then we'll move on to the next one. To, well, to the next project, whatever the heck that might be. Anyway, folks, tires, tracks down, handlebars up, live, love, and have a great time.